What is up YouTube, it's your boy Alex here from Team Generations and today we're here to discuss a deck that kind of embodies the phrase where there is a will, there is a way. We're gonna be talking about Kokaitis Reverse. So kind of a weird kind of card coming out of Clan Collection. I think it was volume four, I think it came out of, yeah. So I just I came to support my favorite Grand Blue unit and really at the end of the day just, you know, doesn't do kind of what we needed for this card to really go off. But at the same time, I love it and I'm still going to try to make it work. So I've seen a couple lists before. I've played this out over here and, you know, it is possible to, to win with this deck. It definitely is. Uh, is it easy? No. Is this a card that or a deck that I would bring to every competition? Probably not. But it is still fun. And if you have these cards laying around, the upgrades are pretty cheap at this point. And the clan's toolbox is just so good. So this is really a masterclass in testing yourself, seeing how good you are in the clan in general. So let's get right into it. I'm going to start off with the boss unit. This guy over here is going to be Kakaitis. So uh, I'm going to do this video a little bit differently than I do a lot of my other videos, just because I think that there is so many times I have to refer back into different cards um, at different times. So this guy basically, if you, let me just see if I can zoom that in over here. Basically during your turn, if you drop us 10 or more cards, this guy gets an extra 10k. And then if it has 20 more cards, it gets an extra crit plus an additional 10. So 32k base with two crit, which is pretty decent. Once per turn, also on Vanguard Circle, we can counter blast one, put four cards from the top of our deck into our drop zone, and then put uh, the same number of grade three cards in our soul plus two from the drop zone to rearguard circle. So filling your field pretty easily overall. Um, I like this card. This was a good card, just a little bit slow for today's meta in general, but you can accelerate it to get that full skill off live on your first grade three turn. And let me tell you right now, that's really all you have. Like you have to kind of get that live on your first grade three turn or you're kind of doomed. Just adjusted the camera over there to get that glare out of the way. Sorry about that. But moving right along now, we are going to be talking about the new quote unquote boss unit of this deck. We're going to be talking about the reverse form of Kokaitis. So Ice Prison Emperor, Hades Emperor, Kokaitis Reverse. So Kokaitis Reverse, kind of an interesting card. Um, limits what you can do in the deck but at the same time gives you another vanguard ride so is it worth it we'll find out here but it's skill over here is drop at the end of battle your vanguard with kakaitis and its name uh attack to grade three or greater vanguard if it is at the first battle of the turn counter boss one discard four cards from your hand unlock all of your rear guards then if you have five locked cards ride this card s10 for each grade three in your soul choose one of your locked cards unlock it and this guy alone gets 10k so kind of sucks but then the second skill is a uh kind of defensive play um interesting at the very least auto on vanguard circle when this unit is attacked retire three rear guards this guy gets 10k until the end of battle for every 10 cards in your drop so you can make this really defensive really bulky almost like a pg kind of on your field uh overall do i think it's enough no but what you want to do is kind of have two grade threes in so you can at least unlock your front row and get in four attacks instead of just three uh there are better ways to multi-attack there are better decks to play in this format what you kind of want to do is just flood your field have those five have them locked when this guy swings have that counter blast open and then boom you know your, your drop zone is really stacked up at that point like you know your drop is really big but you can deck out decking out in this deck is absolutely like a thing so be very careful uh get yourself that extra vanguard ride to protect markers chances are you probably ditch one of them because your hand is kind of low in this deck in general so i don't know another vanguard ride is it worth it <laughs> and we'll see but next up over here i am for the grade three is just running one of the skull dragon we all kind of know what that does gets super powerful by the end of the game definitely the card that you want to target to unlock if you only unlock one obviously if you're unlocking two this and another unit is really decent then moving into the grade twos let's start off i'm going to start off with this guy over here columbard so i've got the nice little congratulations one i don't know if you can see that right there yeah congratulations there we are but basically this just is the uh tutor for our deck just so so good uh cb1 when placed on van or rear search your deck dump a card into the drop zone and then we get to call a card to rear guard circle doesn't have to be that same one that we dumped um again can really help us mill for the cards that we are looking for kind of if we have another card in hand there's other combos we can do to kind of guarantee that we have the correct ride chain and whatnot so just such a necessary card such a good card overall like if any other clan had this kind of card to just have this kind of utility like it would definitely 10 out of 10 be run probably like 90 percent of the time over here this kind of pain me to do but i'm only running three of these cards this is going to be greed shade so greed shade is an interesting card again uh, i'm sure if you play grand blue you kind of know the combos with this guy over here but during your turn if your drop zone has 10 or more cards this guy gets 5k not too important there but again could threaten for a hit and then at second scale one place discard a card from hand put two cards top of the deck into the drop zone return a card not named greed shade from the drop to your hand so the fact that it goes from the drop to the hand and not the rear guard circle is really big so you could actually kind of like save your vanguard ride you know you don't have the correct one in hand boom go into this guy very very nice the combo with these the potential with these two over here is just out of control like it's so so good and then this is a card that wasn't really used in too many other decks i am running it in my pinot noir deck um but overall 
this is going to be Thin Mist Banshee. So Thin Mist Banshee is a card that came out with Night Rose and thought that she was going to be used with it, but didn't end up being too, too great. And definitely better cards do be running, but when placed by your card's ability, this gets 10k. And then when retired from your rear guard by your card's ability, draw a card. This card may only be used, um, basically only one card with the same name once per turn can be used. And the reason we want to do that and actually use this, the 10k ability thing, even if you call it off Kakaitis, when it's locked, it's going to lose that. But when retired, we get to draw a card. So you retire it with the Kakaitis reverse and you get that extra draw off. It's just better than the ghost ship i've tried the ghost ship in here and the power is good don't get me wrong but at the same time like i, I just think that extra little bit of uh draw and the uh benefit defensively just is i think a little bit better overall you can you can run that you can replace this with ghost ship if you want to i will say that but i do like this guy i think over the ghost ship Next up over here, and again, like Kakaitis Reverse, based on how many grade threes you have in sold, that's how many cards you unlock, and you're gonna have one at least from its own call from the drop zone. So this guy over here, Romario, really helps us get more of those. So Romario, Dandy Guy Romario, his skill, act on rear guard circle. If your drop zone is 10 or more cards, this guy gets 4K, so it becomes a 12K booster. And then auto when road upon, counter blast one, put a card from your hand into your soul, put three cards on top of your deck into your drop zone, turn one card from your drop zone to your hand. So it could help you with the ride target again. You really wanna have um, just a grade three put into sold that way you can unlock at least two and have four attacks on your kakaitis turn so uh, without this card i feel like it's a really tough time trying to navigate and just make your your plays in this deck so i, I think that having this at four of is still necessary in kakaitis then over here, speaking of Navigate, I guess, no pun intended, but this is going to be uh, Skeleton Sea Navigator. So this guy was a very popular card. A lot of people were calling for this to be potentially banned or looked at to be limited because it is so powerful for the clan. Act on rear guard circle, rest two of your rear guards, and then um, you get to mill the top five cards of your deck. So really just accelerates for Kakaius. You need to see this at least once and just get that off like once, maybe twice uh, if possible to get that full Kakaius skill off. Again, you're kind of at risk then of decking out, but at the same time too like if you don't apply that pressure as soon as possible like you're probably gonna lose the game this deck just does not have this team to kind of go the long run and just regenerate and like replenish itself so to speak and then over here this is uh as you can kind of notice over here counter blast counter blast over here counter blast counter blast a lot of counter blast in this deck so i think this card is definitely necessary it's good that they reprinted it dancing cutlass so dancing cutlass is doing a lot for us in drop zone, act bind one other of this card, the like same copy, and then discard the top card of our deck, call us to rear guard circle, and then counter charge one. So again, a body on board is really big because we need five for Kakratis reverse. We need an extra counter blast for his skill. And if you're only left with like one or two, you could be kind of thin in the game in general, especially if you're using your Mario early. I find that it's hard to kind of keep up that pace of play. So this guy definitely helps us maintain a little bit later into the game. Next up over here, our final card in the main decks, we are looking at Witch Doctor of Powder Bone, Necrobone. I'm running it at three of, it could be at four. This card is so, so good. This is also our last lifeline to kind of replenish our deck and make sure that we don't deck out off like a drive check or something like that. It's skill, act in drop zone, discard a card from our hand, put this card into the bottom of our deck, and then call a grade one from our drop zone to rear guard circle. If our drop has 10 or more cards, you may call a card of any grade instead. So again, really helps us save just piggy bank toolbox that drop zone. Very, very effective overall. And uh, at the end of the game, this thing has saved me. This has like made sure that I'm not just straight up uh, decking out at times. So uh, overall, is this deck good? I would say it's it's playable. Um, definitely is way, it's not even the road category in my opinion. I do like Kakaitis, so that's why I kind of put it together. And I've put multiple games on this deck. I've played so many different matchups with this. I really think that, you know, it, it just is the struggle bus. And maybe there's something I'm overlooking. I've tried different techs in here. It hasn't really worked out too, too great. I feel like just this card is requiring too much. You're just locking too much. You're not giving yourself multi-attack. If you allowed a multi-attack first and then rode it and then locked, unlocked, like that would be a lot better overall. Um, but I think it's tough in this clan because we have rear guards that are so powerful. Powerful. It might have just limited the design of this card. I think the art is pretty cool, and I think the SP version is actually really sick. But overall, you know, just a tough card or a tough sell. But let's get into the triggers now over here. Uh, I'm just going to start off. This is going to be four of the crit sentinels. Crit sentinels are good in the stack. You don't want the draws because you will deck out 100%. Believe me when I say that. I'm proxying four more crits right here. Uh, ironically enough, out of all the cards I have, that was the one that I kind of didn't have, you know, quadruplicates of or whatever i i have like five grand blue decks just didn't quite have enough so i did order a couple more there on the way i just wanted to get this profile out and then uh so 12 crit overall and then four of the heal guardian so 
Hill Guardians help because if we get pressured down early, we're discarding a lot from our hand to just make these combos work and fill up our drop zone. And as such, you know, this card can really save us. Just make sure that we don't get critted out to death early in the game if we are facing like a rush deck. So uh, I think that there's too many combos almost with this deck. Uh, I normally do test hands. I normally do my format a little bit different, but overall, I think there's just like, there's so many combos. Maybe I'll release a, uh, just like a, a, an actual match of this so you can guys get an idea of the deck. But overall, this deck is pretty cheap aside from like a Kydus maybe. I don't think anything else is very expensive at this point. Maybe Romario, Romario might be expensive because I don't think that got a reprint outside of like a festival collection if I'm not mistaken. So everything else should be relatively cheap in this deck. You know, you can make it work with a lot of different cards. Grand Blue is definitely such a such a toolbox deck. Um, I think that if you, if, like I said, if there's a will, there's a way. Uh, at the end of the day, you might be able to sneak something out just because this deck is like an insane toolbox. Like, or the clan is an insane toolbox, I should say. So thank you guys so much. Let me know your build for this. Let me know where you kind of differ. And if you're having any more success, I would say either this deck probably has around like a 40% win rate for me. I've probably played... 12 games or so on this deck and it's been it's been quite a struggle over the past couple weeks so let me know in the comments down below uh again this is the best that i've been able to tune it to you might have something different if you have any questions let us know as well about interactions anything like that if you are enjoying the content let me know by leaving a thumbs up on this video based on those thumbs i kind of know what clan to to kind of choose and and, and kind of go in depth a little bit more and explore so that definitely helps me in my decisions there and then we're trying to hit 1k so if you guys aren't subscribed already make sure to hit that button definitely appreciate it thank you guys so so much in advance tcg player down in the uh tcg player link down in the description below if you're interested in purchasing any of these cards you can do so by shopping the link absolutely no cost you help support the channel follow us on twitter as well so we do have a twitter now and you can follow our locals see what's up with uh with our new york uh, kind of area as well and yeah interact with us if you want definitely ask us questions hit re reach out you know content creators you want to do anything let me know too and this is alex from team generations signing out